Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about BMX games on the GBA. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX is amazing. It's the BMX correspondent of Tony Hawk. You can free roam on 6 courses and do a varied amount of tricks, especially considering how few buttons the GBA has. I mean, you can pull off around 40 different tricks. And the controls feel snappy and great. Also, even if the game is isometric, this was one of the few occasions where I wasn't bothered by it. Sure, in some challenges or multiple challenges it was in the way, but generally and especially when playing in free roam, I wasn't bothered by the isometric view that much, or at least unlike in other GBA games I wasn't that bothered by it. Ok, actually you don't get true free roam in the game, you move in lanes, meaning that the game guides you to reach the end of a level, and the levels are in a line, so you don't get true free roam, you can just replay the lanes. But this is valid only in the career, because you can free roam the same maps in a free session. Content wise the game has 8 courses and 8 pros to choose from. As game modes you have career, tournament, time trial and cable link multiplayer. In career, career sums up the most part of the gameplay elements, putting you through combo competitions or time trials and in multiplayer you can play horse, graffiti competitions or high score matches or play bomb where you play tag with an exploding bomb, or star hunt where the player that collects the most stars wins. The game is great. Dave Mira Freestyle BMX 2 is the second best BMX game on GBA. It manages to be like Tony Hawk, only with bikes. The controls are amazing and you can do tricks with ease. There are 12 pros in the game which you can upgrade with stats and there are 5 bikes to choose from. As game modes you get pro quest, session, free ride and 2 player. And the formula is very similar to Tony Hawk this time. You get into a map and there are multiple goals to reach, like high score, collecting the letters Mira, doing specific gaps, sounds familiar. Well, I can't complain, the formula is amazing, Vicarious Vision really did a tremendous formula there. So I can't complain that it's very similar to that formula in this game. The only complaint there is about the game is the isometric view that doesn't help when objectives are so complex, but once you learn the maps by heart, the isometric view won't be that bothersome anymore. Overall the game is amazing, it plays great and it makes you feel great, and that's what video games should always do. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2 is a big improvement over its predecessor. What impressed me the most were the little details in the maps. Maps are larger, more colorful and more interactive. There are even secret rooftops and secret rooms on the map. And there is stuff to interact to destroy parts of the levels like you could in Tony Hawk games. Also now the game has transition moves like power slides, stalls and tire taps. The new career mode called road trip mode became more inspired by Tony Hawk's formula and feels more varied. Also now you can play multiplayer both with cable link and on the same device by taking turns and this is a great improvement in the multiplayer department. BMX Trick Racer is a fun game to play, some more animations when controlling the characters would have been nice but still the game is fun to play. It sometimes feels like I'm playing a flash game but that's ok because the most important part when playing a game is how much fun you have. And the game offers some decent amount of fun. The game offers 15 tracks, 6 racers, 10 bikes and as game modes you can go on a tournament or on a free race. And in the career you do two things, race or compete for score. And the two feel kinda similar at one point since you feel like doing the same stuff on the same maps. It's still nice to see how many obstacles there are in the game and as I said, the game might not sound like much but it's fun to play. Dave Mira Freestyle BMX 3 is the best BMX game on GBA. It manages to improve the monster experience of its predecessor into an even greater game. Now the game has multiplayers when doing tricks and the maps are better thought out. The isometric view still gets annoying, but it's much less of a hassle due to how well the maps are designed. Ok, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You would help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, 
just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.